Hey there, it's Q, and welcome back to Hold and Modify, YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. And what is this video today? This is actually an update to the original Grease Weasel video I did quite a while ago. If you go down and you look in my uh, history of videos, you'll see one with a little weasel on it. I've updated the thumbnail too, and it's going to share the same thumbnail as this update video so that they're at a glance you can see them both together. Unfortunately, YouTube kind of makes it a hassle where you can't really replace a video. You can delete it, but you don't really want to do that because there is some relevant information in my original Grease Weasel video. And if you don't know what a Grease Weasel is, yeah, it's a little device that allows you to use floppy drives to read and write Amiga disks on your Windows PC. And this is kind of a case I've got for it. So I just got these kind of strewn about here, my various test floppies. But what I wanted to make a little more clear here, that's since it has been updated, uh, are the requirements. There's two ways to use the Grease Weasel, all right? You can use it as a standalone drive to read and write Amiga floppies. And of course, many other computer formats, not just Amiga, it supports, man, it supports almost every computer system out there that ever had a floppy drive. But I'll be sticking to the Amiga stuff. So you can use the standalone software, which is over here, the host tools, and you use this in a command prompt, okay? And they give you a, a list of commands. You can do a, uh, you know, your standard dash H if you're savvy with command and it'll list all the various commands that are there. And in my description for this video, you're going to see a very detailed list of all of the stuff I'm showing you. So the, I, I will try and uh, make this uh, as clear as possible. Really check out the description for this video because it's gonna contain a lot of the stuff that I'm covering, including some basic commands to read and write disks. But that's the most simple way to use it as a standalone product. And when you do that, you can use IBM PCs or Amiga floppy drives with this standalone uh, version. Now, the standalone software with the command prompt does have a GUI. So for those of you that prefer using a GUI instead of dealing with command prompt, you can run this GUI software. And again, it has parity, like you wanna make sure you're downloading the host 1.0 GUI and of course the host 1.0 software, and these work together and everything has to get copied into the same folder on your PC. It can't be scattered about, so everything runs from the same folder. I just put everything in C drive and I call the folder GW, so it's really simple. Uh, however, I've discovered that if you're using Amiga floppy drives with this GUI version, uh, it has issues where it's like issuing the wrong commands and it doesn't work. So you, you can still use the GUI, but you have to physically paste down the correct commands. And again, those commands are in the description in this video. And then this GUI software will work. But I mean, if you're having to paste down commands in the GUI software, then why bother using the GUI? You could just use the command version, okay? Now, why is that? Again, that's because I'm using, or if you were using an Amiga floppy drive with it, it does not work um, with this particular Grease Weasel I've got, which is the Amiga Kit Weasel V4 when it came out. Uh, it did not actually have WinUEE support officially. It was still very much in flux. And I've noticed that the the lack of proper WinUEE support for this version of the drive and this GUI software seem to have a lot in common, meaning if the drive you're using does not work in WinUEE, it probably doesn't gonna work with this GUI either because it's a command issue. Something's going on there. Now, when I say drive doesn't work, I mean Amiga floppy drive. So to be clear, if you're using an Amiga floppy drive with a grease weasel and you're using this Amiga kit version, it's probably not gonna work, okay? It's not gonna work in WinUE and this GUI software is gonna have the issues I mentioned earlier. So it's just, the, the simplest way to say this is just, just go on eBay or if you've got one in the closet, find an old IBM PC drive, all right? Um, like I've got sitting over here, this is an old IBM TAC. Get the IBM PC drive and then you don't have to worry about any of this. The IBM drives work with the Amiga kit version and they work with other people's versions that have built this board because there is an updated design of this board that, that has been done that has a jumper that allows Amiga floppy drives to work in WinUEE and in the Grease Weasel GUI. Here's WinUEE, yeah, you need to download WinUEE and then this is the floppy bridge software which is a plugin for WinUEE. This plugin allows the Grease Weasel to work with WinUEE. So at the least, you need this, an IBM PC floppy drive, WinUEE, and this software installed into WinUEE. If you have that, you don't need any of this stuff on this part of the screen, okay? This is for people that wanna use the Grease Weasel as a standalone product with no emulation software. They just wanna create disks and write disks themselves in the command prompt or again, using the GUI. But again, one thing these all have in common, 
If you use the Amiga kit style version, this stuff is not gonna work with an Amiga floppy drive. It's gonna have issues. But if you get the updated version of this board, which I have linked in the description, as I get, I'll highlight again, you need to pay attention to the description of this video because it has all this stuff in it. If you get the updated version of this board, it has a jumper that can say, oh, I'm using an Amiga floppy drive. But that can be a hassle, plus not everyone has Amiga floppy drives anymore. It's far easier to get IBM PC drives. So just get an IBM PC drive and avoid all the hassles, and then you can use everything you see on the screen here. It will all work great. So my original video uh, is about as bad as this one, but uh, the stuff that I say in it is still relevant and does give you some uh, information, but this is just to update you, those that are still interested in being able to write and read Amiga floppies in, a, in an emergency situation, because not everyone has functional Amiga floppy drives. You know, not everyone's Amigas are up and running or have the ability to write floppies. And I know it can be really frustrating if you need a, you know, a certain disc and you, and you need it for your real Amiga and you're like, how the heck am I gonna get this floppy? That's how this Grease Weasel product uh, comes in, into play, why it's so cool, why it's so handy. But yeah, there's just a lot of, man, there's a lot of stuff you gotta do and know about and be aware of. It's not just buy this board and plug in the floppy and off you go, as you can see, just, from, I have, I've, I've had to make two videos on this and I'm still learning. I'm still talking to the, the developer of the Grease Weasel about this to clarify all these points. So there you go. That's an update of the Grease Weasel and how it works. Again, the best, easiest way to use the Grease Weasel, get an old IBM PC floppy drive. And then it will work with all of the software here. Standalone, GUI, WinUE, and you'll be good to go. Can it still use an Amiga floppy drive? Yes, it can. And that's really cool. But honestly, why, why bother? Especially with the hassles I've mentioned. Okay, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.